Hi friends, I'm out of top from Easy Approach and it's the sixth video of the video series. In this video, I'm gonna talk a bit more about the widgets that exist in Flutter. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about a widget uh, that's uh, so commonly used and it is actually called button. So there are basically two types of button that actually exist in Flutter. So the first type of the button is flat button. So you can write here a uh, flat button because I want to show it at the center of the screen. So I use a center widget uh, that I use in, uh, in, the in the last video and in the child I just use a flat button widget. Now there are two properties that you need uh, to define that you need to define actually in order to uh, use the button. So the first property is called child. The child property actually uh, is is used to define uh, what, what I actually want to show uh, on your button. So I want to show a text on my button. So I'm using here a text widget and in the text widget you can pass any text that you want to show on your button. So I want to show here at the, at the button register. So this is one of the properties that you need to define actually. And there's one more property that you must define and it is called on press property. It actually defines the behavior of your button when the user click on it. So for now I'm just uh, passing here an empty function. But in the later videos we'll be passing here some code that actually uh, defines the behavior uh, of our application after clicking, after uh, experiencing uh, the event of clicking. So now I'm just uh, passing here empty. Uh, it's mandatory to uh, give uh, to define this on press property. Now I can also change. Uh, I I'll also pass the color of our button. So I I'm I'm gonna pass here a blue color. Now we can hot reload our application, and you can see the button at the center of the screen. Now you can change this black color text as well, and we already know how can we do so. You can here use a style property. And in here you can pass textile and in textile you can pass here a color property and you can choose colors from this colors. So I'm going to use a white color. So I can refresh this and now you can see the color uh, is changed. Now there is another um, button actually which is called raised button. And the difference between flat button and raised button is that raised button allow you to have sh a bit shadow around uh, your button like if I use this and I refresh it now you can see there is a, a little shadow around it it's because it's a, it's it's a bit raised so this is the difference between uh, flat button and raised button there's no uh, a lot of difference between uh, these two buttons but we can uh, use a raised button if you want to have uh, a shadow around your button there's another thing that you can do with your button you can also use icon in your button how can we do so you just have to uh, go here in your raise button and you just have to write here dot and icon and now you need to define icon as well now what we can do we need to remove this and there's a property name icon and here you need to pass the icon and how can we do so you need to pass your icon widget and in here you need to select what sort of icon you want icon you want to show i want to use here uh, let's say payment and the color of this should be white so you can change the color of the icon by defining this property and now you need to pass here a label as well which is actually the text that you want to show so I'm gonna use here a text widget and here I need to pass I'm gonna go make payment and I'm gonna change the style as well I'm gonna choose color white now you can refresh it and now you can see your button has an icon as well. So this is how you can use buttons in your Flutter application. There's a raise button, there's a, flat, there's a flat button and you can also have icon in your button. So that's all from this video. In the next video, we'll learn some new topics. Thank you for watching.